all right everybody welcome back in this video we're going to be taking a look at the warlock poison build with the strand subclass let's get into it so let's jump into the subclass and see what is going to be making this up that's going to be putting it together so first of all we're going to go with the needle storm for the super we're going to go with our healing rift as well as burst glide it's up to you what you guys want to use i mean same with the healing rift you can go for the empowering rift if you want that little bit of boost or just with the healing rift to stay alive and i'm also going to go with the arcane needle uh on to the biggest thing that really makes this build glow is the shackle grenade throw that shackle grenade on followed by these aspects we've got weaver's call so what this is going to do is when you cast your rift you're going to send out three threadlings uh that are going to basically jump out and devour the things in front of you let's say you drop that rift because you're low on health well this is going to help take care of some of those ads that are in your way and the next big thing that really pulls this together is the mind spun invocation and the main part of this is going to be consuming that shackle grenade um, activates weaver's trance so final blows while weaver's trance is active uh, creates a suspending detonation so you're going to get those enemies suspended and getting those kills while they're suspended is going to create a detonation and with the poison build it just spreads poison to everything within the vicinity creating an absolutely devastating chain reaction of suspend poison suspend poison detonation okay so moving down to the fragments we've got uh the thread of mind suspend so uh defeating suspend targets grants class ability energy we got thread of warding so picking up an overpower grants a woven mail uh we got thread of generation so dealing damage generates grenade energy so you're going to be able uh to get that uh, grenade back a little bit quicker to be able to consume it to keep on doing what you want your build to do and we've also got the thread of uh, continuity so suspend ravel and sever effects apply to targets have an increased duration which is bomb for this build moving on to our weapons we're rolling with the osteostriga and everybody knows osteostriga just uh, puts out the amazing poison of what you're going to get from this build combined with the necrotic grips now osteostriga let's take a look at the perks on it uh we've got screaming swarm so fires a stream of sentient toxic projectiles that tracks targeted enemies uh it's also rolling with the osteostriga catalyst if you get that uh this is going to enhance uh your ammo for the weapon uh it's, it's got the short stock or short action stock toxic overload so landing final blows or multiple precision hits triggers a burst of poison uh, that poisons nearby targets we've got the tactical mag as well as corkscrew rifling for this um, i've also gone with the uh, prodigal return grenade launcher because that's going to work into what we've got on for our artifact and i've also thrown on the sword uh, which is going to give you tireless blade and hatchling kind of works together a little bit and moving into the artifact uh i threw on the anti-barrier auto rifle uh the unstoppable hand cannon as well as overload trace rifle um i've got the authorized mods for arc uh strand as well as melee and the one that I really liked and have been using a lot this season is the uh, Technicolor Siphon. Moving in, we've also got the improved Unraveling, so it increases the amount of damage dealt by unraveling targets. And then the deep, uh, Deeper Origin, so greatly improves the benefit provided by the Unsated Hunger, Nanotech Tracer Rockets, and Harmonic and Noble Deeds traits. 
so this doesn't really do anything with the build uh but if you're running some of those uh weapons with the perk or with those traits it will definitely help you out um i also threw on strand soldier uh so your strand weapon gains unraveling rounds whenever uh you gain woven uh, woven mail uh while your strand subclass is equipped so this will also help out with your build as well um doing the higher end content where you do have those champions gain a stack of armor charge uh when you do stun a champion and conductive cosmic needles uh targets affected by strand debuffs take increased damage from arc and void abilities so if you're running some of those gms the raids uh running this is definitely going to help you guys out and kind of synergize together you know you get those kills everything around you is affected by poison as well as strand you're able to suspend things in the air and uh, this is going to give those debuffs especially on those champions which leads into that moving on over to the rest of the build or my helmet i'm running the resilience mod i mean depending on what you guys have you could have the triple 100s double 100s i mean sometimes it's just up in the air what you guys want to run or how you have it built or you know maybe you're just like me and get absolutely dooky rolls on some of the armor drops but yes resilience uh running hands on uh, so again, a bonus super energy on melee kills, uh, dual current siphon. Uh, so this was the one that I pointed out in the artifact. So rapid arc weapon final blows create an orb of power and rapid strand weapon final blows create orbs of power. So I am running that arc grenade launcher. So getting those rapid final blows well, drop an orb of power and heavy ammo finder kind of up in the air if the ammo finder actually works yeah sometimes maybe not really so that's what i threw on there for the gauntlets and let's take a look at the main perk on the gauntlets so the main perk for these is grasp of the devour damaging combatants uh poisons them dealing increased damage over time so you are going to get that dot damage uh, defeating a poison combatant spreads the condition so once you're able to get that whole group of ads poisoned and then they start dying off it just spreads more poison absolutely perfect and they're all strung up in the air with strand really works well uh, so defeating a poison combatant spreads the condition and provides a moderate benefit to airborne effect in the stat of all weapons of sorrow so specifically, is this a weapon of Sorrow Osteostriga? You know, Bife has some absolutely amazing videos that really do go in depth on explaining the weapons of Sorrow or what is considered a weapon of Sorrow and specifically one on the uh, Osteostriga, which is uh, quite dark, the explanation for my little Striga is so hungry really weird but yeah check it out and moving on over to the chest piece we're rolling with the recovery void resistance arc uh resistance as well as solar damage now that i am running that sword uh, i could kind of change that up and put loosened blade on but it kind of seems this season you're getting hit by uh very several different uh you could be hit by arc solar void kind of a mixed bag of everything this season uh rolling to the leg armor i threw on the resistance we've got the recuperation so replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power and i've also threw on that kinetic weapon surge being that osteostriga is in the kinetic weapon slot uh, you are going to get that little bit of extra damage so collecting an orb of power causes you to gain one temporary armor charge and your kinetic weapons gain a small bonus to damage while you have an armor charge also works into getting those champions and getting that extra armor charge from defeating champions kind of works out rare <laughs> um i've also threw on absolution so reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power so 
you're going to use that rift you're going to use that grenade you're going to give some flicks of that little needle thing that the warlock throws you're going to be able to get all of those back a little bit quicker and moving on to the bond for the warlock which is your class item i threw on some resilience uh for the double it being that it is uh artifice armor um we've got the double bomber on so reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability we have also got reaper uh so after using your class ability your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power um so after you throw that rift down you kill some enemies you get some orbs of power you collect that kind of synergizes together completely i love it it's absolutely awesome so like i said the main things that do bring this build together are going to be the necrotic grips the off skill streaker uh consuming that uh, shackle grenade and i mean even if you get that grenade back a whole lot quicker uh, you can even throw that grenade out to suspend some targets if you want or you can just keep consuming it everybody thank you very much for checking out the video do me a favor come check us out live at youtube.com forward slash at starset7gaming until next time you guys be safe and take care